Hello and welcome to another tech review you didn't know you needed. Today we'll be taking a very quick look at the RII i4 mini Bluetooth keyboard with touchpad. Now this is $30 on Amazon and I'm finding it a great portable keyboard and mouse option to use with your Steam Decks. So let's just go over a couple of the features. It has a pretty good feel to the keyboard, not too mushy, but a good solid click to the slightly rubberized key, uh, keycaps here. It has pretty much all the keys you'll need, including uh, a delete and a back uh, backspace button. Then you got this nifty scroll wheel, so you can scroll, but all the gestures work fine, and I'll show that later. And you got some media keys and your arrow keys up here. Um, this is left and right click also if you prefer to use hard buttons for that. Uh, if we look on the back, which is one of the great features I like about this, is it has a removable battery, and it can be paired with Bluetooth or over this uh, wireless USB dongle. So I really do like the fact that the battery is user replaceable. And so, you know, as all things, uh, keeping out e-waste is a good idea and batteries all die and having it easily user replaceable is, uh, is a great feature in my opinion. In the box, you get basically just this keyboard and this micro USB charging cable uh, the ports on the bottom. Uh, when you turn it on, initially it's going to be in the USB dongle mode. All you have to do is hit function tab and I'll switch to Bluetooth mode. And then uh, you could be begin your pairing process. Now you could do this in um, the game mode on the Steam Deck or in desktop mode. If you're having problems in the game mode, I would suggest switching to desktop mode and pairing it there. But once it's paired, it's always connected just fine after that. And it does it within just a few seconds. Here you can see the keyboard mouse is paired to the Steam Deck in game mode as I4. And like I said, it only takes a couple of seconds to pair after the initial pairing. So it's, uh, it's really quite convenient. As you can see, um, we can use the keyboard here in game mode. It works just fine. I find it great for entering passwords like Steam passwords and other launchers like Genshin Impact um, using this instead of being the built-in soft keyboard. This is, I find it much more convenient. So that's one uh, use case that I seriously recommend. I'll switch to desktop mode. So here you're going to see me navigate using the, the mouse touchpad. It's actually quite responsive. It'll be great for doing some updates like um, updating all your uh, flat packs using the Discover app. So that's what I'm going to do here. Much easier to use this device. Boy, I have a lot of updates. I'll do that later, um, but yes, I would use it for that or updating your uh, Proton, uh, Proton GE. So that's the other thing I would use it for. Here's a quick demonstration of typing. Also, your function keys F1 through F12 are also present, which is very handy. So one of the few keys that are missing on this keyboard is like the insert, home in, page up, page down cluster, but that's fine. I think that's a reasonable trade-off given the size and portability of this thing. When it first comes out of the box, also note that the backlight won't be on. Um, so just hit function and then this little light bulb um, button on the end here. Let's take a look at the uh, scroll wheel feature, which I think is fantastic. One of the main reasons why I prefer this uh, mini keyboard uh, compared to others. So this is really convenient when you're scrolling through websites or anything that's long, like you're configuring a bunch of settings on an emulator or something. It's really handy for that too. You see that two finger scroll works just fine. And actually this touchpad is a lot better than I expected. All the gestures seem to work fine. Your two finger scroll, your double two finger tap for the right click. Of course, left click works fine too. Now let's just compare the size to a couple of common objects. There's a comparison to the Steam Deck and a mug. Here's a comparison to a 60% mechanical keyboard. Overall, I think this is a great little device to have with your Steam Deck. And of course you can use it with other devices too, anything with Bluetooth or a USB port. I haven't tested the USB dongle, really haven't had a need to, but I'm sure it works fine. But the Bluetooth has been working great. Uh, the pairing process and the connecting is quick and uh, it has all the keys that I need. It has all the nice controls for, for mousing. I think it's 
very useful with the Steam Deck for entering uh, launcher logins or just doing quick configurations with emulators and things like that without having to break out a full desktop setup. Also, it's great to travel with and just throw this in your backpack. All right, bonus segment time. So I recently traveled with my Steam Deck on several flights and I found that it is a great travel companion, much better than having to carry a gaming laptop or something like that. Just prefer using my Steam Deck. It's just great and comfortable to play hours on end uh, with the tray down and rest my hands on it. It's awesome. But one of the things I need to carry with me is usually an external power brick like this 20,000 mAh one I have that has power delivery USB-C output. Uh, most planes these days do have a USB charging port, but that's just the old 5 volt uh, style, which is great for phones, but not enough to really power a Steam Deck, especially while you're playing it or charge it while you're playing it. So I usually like to carry this and a few other items with me to have on me or in the front pouch of the seat in front of me. So I bought this little FYY, FYY travel case. It's like $11 on Amazon. Of course, all links will always be in the description of every product I review. And um, I think I would have gone with a slightly bigger one than the one I came got with this one, but this one will work fine. They have different sizes with handles or straps and different amount of compartments. So you can take a look uh, at the link I, I put down below, but this one will do for now. So mainly what I'm going to carry with me on the plane is this giant power brick and it's just easier to lay it in there and zip it up. And then over here, I'll carry a USB-C to C cable and probably a lightning cable for my phone, iPhone, and then maybe some AirPods, which also work fine with the Steam Deck, which is what I did with the noise canceling. It's great on these AirPod Pros uh, with the Steam Deck on the flight. And then just have all that. Do I really want that? No, I'll stick this. It works better here. And now the only thing I need to carry besides my Steam Deck case is this little travel case with a, with a strap. So I'm going to try this next time when I travel. And so the only thing I would need to bring with me when I travel is this travel case and the Steam Deck. Well, I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.